When I first saw this article, I thought it was the next battle in the war on meat. Unfortunately, I was correct. A quick Google search reveals a media blitz of dozens and dozens of articles to let everyone possible know that animals were infected. And there is zero proof that one species can get a different species sick with a particular illness. I mean, yeah, if you eat rotten or infected meat, your body's going to respond to the bacteria you consume, but it's not like a specific disease that goes into your body. That's not possible. This is 100% a lie, just like everything else in the news. Mainstream media is simply the lying psychopaths in charge using puppets to further their own agenda. Don't believe anything they say. Just think about what their intended purpose is from like a sicko, tyrannical dictator perspective. Here, it's pretty obvious. You know, establish the fact that this can be spread. Then establish the idea that it can transfer from human to animals or animals to humans. If people believe that, then when they come for the meat supply, likely beef, it's going to be accepted. You know, if the sheeple are willing to sit inside for two years, just doing what they're told on television, can't go outside, you can bet they'll have no problem removing red meat from their diet. I've spoken about this happening several times over the probably more than a dozen times over the past two years, but this is just the continuous predictive programming preparing people so they don't question anything when it happens. You know, the, the climate stuff is a big one and I'm just going to stop talking about that altogether because I just get censored like crazy. Deer in four states have been exposed to you know what, USDA study shows. What does that mean for humans? The USDA study showed that 40% of deer tested across four states in 2021 were positive. None of the deer in the study showed clinical symptoms, according to the USDA. The USDA came to no conclusions about how the deer were exposed. It's possible they were exposed through people, the environment, other deer, or another animal species. I mean, everyone should be concerned if the USDA is conducting these studies which means the higher ups or whoever tells the USDA what to do are complicit with the new world order agenda. Every single piece of meat on a federal level needs to pass USDA inspection to be sold in the supermarket to the general public. They're literally the feds knocking on your door if you do the wrong thing. And whether they come for meat in general or try to zone in on specifics like beef, red meat, you can bet that whatever the government wants, these guys, the USDA, will cooperate with. White-tailed deer, a species found in every U.S. state except Alaska, appear to be contracting the you-know-what in the wild, according to the first study to search for evidence of an outbreak in wild deer. You know what else isn't in Alaska? Thousands and thousands of new cell towers, which clearly aren't being used for cellular signals if they need to install an entire new network and grid when everyone already has a perfectly operating cell phone. Every time some meat industry issue is brought up, there's a direct correlation to environmental radiation or technology. And definitely check out the few videos I did on that last year if you missed them, every few months or so. So there's a few mainstream thoughts about this. One, you know, the average person thinks I'm crazy. Two, the skeptic might say that it's for your own good as meat is obviously bad for us and the planet. And three, you know, a good portion of people you know, seeing through the power-hungry dictators trying to control every aspect of our lives. You know, although politics is fake, Republicans and Democrats, da, 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 the Republicans you know, complain that the leftists want to take away their meat. So, so they're onto it to some degree, although the divide and conquer tactics of fake politics have grasped them. And although I've spoken about this a lot, I haven't specifically explained in detail in a video like this why they don't want us eating meat. In a way, every aspect of your life is influenced by what you put in your body. Not only your physical health, your emotions, your psychological health. You know, the toxins in our food and water poison the physical body that is supposed to produce hormones, endorphins, all sorts of chemical compounds that make us feel good or bad. If you feel like crap physically, if you're tired, if you don't sleep, if you don't eat right, your emotions aren't going to be good too and you're not going to be happy at work or whatever you're doing. And since the food supply is also riddled with so much estrogen, even the meat, most men become low testosterone passive soy boys. 
And the male-female dynamic here, it, it needs to be discussed because men are the ones that are likely to rise up and go against authority, or as women, uh, generally need to be guided and they're more nurturing and loving. Two very different brains, biologically speaking. There's a reason they're putting estrogen in the water and not testosterone. The irony here is they're trying to limit your consumption of highly estrogenic feedlot beef to a lesser extent pork and chicken. And the only reason I can assume is because the pork and chicken are much higher in omega-6 and toxins, even though grain-fed, corn-stuffed, grade-fed, prom Angus beef is not the best for you. It is better for you than chicken or pork, not that any of them should be consumed. Uh, either way, you're removing highly available animal protein, B vitamins, crucial for neurological function. You know, I joked in a lot of videos that vegans have to make cuts every two seconds to remember what they're saying, and that's a severe B vitamin deficiency causing memory issues. As you can imagine, someone who doesn't have the vitamins, the nutrients, to remember what they said a few seconds ago is very easy to control. You know, robots will not take over our jobs. We will be the robots needing to be prompted every second by a microchip in our brain. And another reason that beef might be the target is because when people consume like cheeseburgers and hot dogs, a lot of the meat that people do get in their diet is beef based. So uh, the crazy psychos in charge probably did some complicated math to figure out, okay, if we take away the beef, they'll be as stupid as we need them. So uh, I guess, you know, I mean, look, I, guys, I work in the meat industry. It's my business now. I feel obligated to talk about this stuff whenever it comes up, even though it seems repetitive, because there's going to be a day where, you know, unfortunately, I told you so. But um, I'm trying my best to do what I can. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. If you'd like to support me, you know, we have uh, all the businesses available on frank .com. Uh, definitely watch my video tomorrow, the Frankie's Range Meat vlog, and I'll give you guys an update on everything. Uh, but outside of that, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment, say hello, uh, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and uh, check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I feel really like like I need to run through some drywall because I made this, um, I'll do a video on Saturday, a new uh, like Gatorade Powerade drink with the Flextros that we launched last week. I just feel like I need to, to do something. <laughs> Oh,